Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Preview for Tuesday the 6th of December 2022. Everything looks like a blip right now, right? We pulled back today. Had a, a decent, I guess, down day. I mean, there's some issues here, but we're still inside of not much of a range from the last couple of weeks. Here's the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the futures in broad market form. You know, we never got the 12 or the 13, so it is what it is back a bit so I mean we're still I'm still waiting to see if we get that 12 13 count a couple days up and we'll get them um, but yeah we surprised the world by heading down today here's the S&P cash index you know okay dropped obviously a bit um, is what it is NASDAQ 100 down a couple hundred points um, near the lows still more than the S&P Russell 2000 came back quite a bit, actually. Crude oil, this is the interesting one, 77.34, so oil's dropping. Now, you can look at this two ways. Like, everybody says, oh, oil's going to a billion dollars because of the war and everything else, but that obviously hasn't happened. Uh, then they say, well, we don't have, you know, U.S. isn't producing enough oil. Well, obviously, that doesn't seem to matter if oil's coming back. But the real issue is, is this because the economy is slowing? So if, there, if we have a lot of warning signs that the economy is slowing, including people using less gas, that's going to be interesting. Uh, gold down a bit today as well, so there's no signs of the inflationary stuff, at least right there. Bitcoin sitting at 16870 You know, can't really get itself moving. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, uh, almost nothing today at all. Down a little bit, actually, but it gapped down and then came back. Uh, the VIX closes at 20.75. You know, we're 10 candles down now on the VIX, um, on the exhaustion count, so we'll see what that leads to. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ uh, was plus 5, I'm sorry, on the New York was plus 5, sorry, was negative 2,163, but the 10 day moving average is plus 520, but the, again, very negative day in the market, breadth wise. Trend closes at one point, uh, no. 2.15 and puts the 10 day at 1.06, which is not a signal. Here's a look at the ES intraday 10 minute candle. So you can see back a few days, um, you know, we obviously gap down a little bit and then head lower, but we're still just in the middle of the last week's range. NASDAQ 100, same, I mean, it looks almost exactly the same, right? There's nothing new there at all. So we've got, then we've got Apple. This is the daily chart of Apple uh, down a bit this week. Amazon also down on Monday. Um, but didn't really break a range. This, this, this could have a trigger under the low of the last two weeks. Tomorrow we'll look at that. Meta was up, actually, one of the few stocks that was. Google kind of flat, a little low. Uh, Goldman Sachs starting to roll over after being on this big rally. Netflix is what it is. Tesla uh, down 180, uh, at 182.52, dropped quite a bit this week. NVIDIA, or on Monday, sorry, NVIDIA uh, also down just a bit in Zoom. Not much there either. So, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's exciting. I wouldn't say there's much here. Um, it wasn't a very interesting day, but we're still doing what we do, right? Everything's the same. Uh, in terms of economic data on Tuesday, uh, we've got the trade balance number here in the U.S., so we're half size for Forex overnight. That's about it. There's not much around the globe. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. Not really. We do Ninja Trader now, so sorry, that's just default. My bad. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact us. We'll give you a trial for a couple of weeks and help you make money. Have a great uh, trading week.